Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on today's video and welcome to my channel. I do hope that everyone had a really good holidays and in the spirit of the upcoming holiday season, I would like to post a really happy Reddit update. In this story, OP reaches out to Reddit because she's very confused. Her ex and her have rekindled an old spark and she's confused about whether she should get back together with him. As I've kind of probably alluded to, it does have a happy ending, so stay tuned for the update to find out. I do hope that you enjoyed the story. If you do, please leave a thumbs up. And before we move on to the story, I do want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you so much. If you do like my content and would like to support me, I would really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button. Anyways, thank you so much for your time and on to the story. Would I, a 38-year-old female, be an idiot if I got back together with my ex-husband, a 37-year-old male who cheated on me 10 years ago? My ex, who will call Mike and I were together since we were 14 and got married at 22. We have two kids together, a 15-year-old female and an 11-year-old male. My ex's work takes him all around the country for a week every quarter. In one of those trips, he hooked up with one of his co-workers. I never thought that he could do something like that because our relationship was really solid. He confessed immediately after he got home. I actually would have never found out if he didn't. He begged me for forgiveness, said that he still loved me and that it was a lapse in judgement, but he said that he would understand if I wanted a divorce, which is what eventually happened. It was very amicable and he actually gave me more than I expected. The house, child support, alimony. It was a slow process but over the years we became friends again and have a good co-parenting dynamic. Mike's a great father and the kids still love him. I got married three years after and he was actually very supportive. I divorced my second husband two years ago because he changed his mind about kids. I wanted one last baby. Since the lockdown, Mike has been over frequently. At this point, our relationship is so good that we don't need to enforce any of the set visits and such. Well, things have been getting hot between us for the last few months and we've started sleeping together. I'm a woman with needs too and to be very honest with you guys, he's still the best guy I've been with after all of these years. It's like our bodies were made for each other. He always joked that we were like Prime, Pippin and Jordan in bed and when he said that again, it felt like we were back 10 years ago when we were still together. It was supposed to be just physical but here we are. Just a few hours ago, he brought up the idea of us getting back together. He gave me the most genuine speech about how stupid he was that night he cheated and how he never stopped loving me in the past 10 years. I was speechless and couldn't say anything. So he just gave me his usual toothy smile and said, it's okay, I'll wait, before driving home. Now I'm lying here in bed typing this out. I'd be lying to you guys if I said that I didn't love him. I'd be lying if I said that the last few months weren't the happiest I've been in years. And I'd be lying if I said that I never forgave him for cheating. I've told him years ago that I already did. If I had to decide right now, I'd jump out of my bed and drive to his house and bring him home. It's taking all of my willpower not to do so. I love him. However, I also want to think with my brain here. So the pros of taking him back are 1. He's a great dad and the kids would have him around more. 2. He's a great provider. 3. He says that he still wants kids. And lastly, I still love him. The cons? I don't know yet, but maybe some of you can help me with that. Any advice on how I should proceed? And then OP added an edit to clarify. She says that she made the first move when they started sleeping together. It's been a few days now since I've posted and Reddit has given me some solid advice, especially the kind Redditors who messaged me directly. I'm very grateful for this because it helped me calm down and not give in to my impulses. The morning after I posted, I texted Mike saying that I needed time and space to think about everything. He then replied with, I've waited 10 years, I can wait a little bit longer. My heart just melted. 
When the kids woke up, our son was looking for his dad. He's at the age now where he pretty much idolizes his dad. I get why though. Mike is an amazing dad. Our daughter gave me the stink eye all morning. After lunch, when our son was in his room playing video games, my daughter confronted me about Mike. She basically said how she knew there was something going on. I guess we're not that sneaky. And that she didn't want our fighting to affect their lives. She thought that we were fighting. Now, the divorce affected her, but not as badly as expected. We made sure to get her counseling immediately after and made extra sure her life was as normal as possible. I'm not going to delude myself and think that she wasn't hurt by it, but I'm pretty confident in saying that we dealt with it pretty well. Or as well as we could have. I then had the conversation about how we weren't fighting, but quite the opposite. We were thinking about getting back together. She thought about it for a while and said that she was happy for us and hoped that it was forever this time. The next day, I dropped my kids off at the parents' house so that I could talk to Mike at his place. We had a long talk about how we felt about each other and what we planned to do about it going forward. And as many of you suggested, what he planned to do next time we hit a rough patch, especially since we planned on having a third kid. He told me that the night he cheated still haunted him 10 years later. He told me how it wasn't worth it one bit and how it was the biggest mistake of his life. He said that if ever we hit a rough patch again, we would talk about it like adults. He even suggested that we go to couples counseling every now and then, even when things are good. I like this idea. There are some details about our conversation that I want to keep private, but long story short, we got back together. We're going to take it slow, and in every step we take, we both agreed that our children would take priority over everything. He's not going to move in yet, but he would spend a few nights a week at home with us. Later that night, we sat the kids down and broke the news. My daughter didn't say much because she already knew, but our son was over the moon. Since we divorced when he was a baby, the concept of both of his parents being together was quite new to him. They obviously asked questions and we answered them. We're also planning on doing family counseling to help make the transition easy for everybody. Overall, I'm really happy right now. Mike did make a mistake 10 years ago, but I don't hold it against him and have completely forgiven him for it. I know that he loves me now and won't cheat on me anymore. I'm back together now with the love of my life and the father of my kids and I couldn't be happier. As I type this out, Mike is in the next room playing video games with our son. I'm not entirely sure what the future will look like, but I'm happy that he's back. Thank you Reddit for the advice. It really helped with our talk and how we proceed going forward. I think that I'll stay online for an hour or so to reply, at least until the kids are asleep and he comes to bed. Then it's my turn to have fun. Peace. So guys, what did you think about this? Please let me know in the comments down below. I personally am so happy for OP and her husband. I am definitely a sucker for happily ever after and this looks like one. I totally understand that a lot of time has passed and that OP is over it, but I do hope that they take up the counseling bit, you know, sort of get to the root of the infidelity, and I do hope that they take it slow, at least for the kids sake. Honestly, I personally am not that worried because it sounds to me like, at least from the first and second update, that OP and her partner have really good communication going on. I don't know if they did before, but I think age and maturity has sort of added to that factor. And because of that, they have really good communication when it comes to the kids as well. So I'm not really that worried. I think that if you have good communication and are able to get your point across without letting some of the negative emotions come into the talk, then I personally think that you're going to be okay. I don't know, what did you guys think about this? Did you think that it was good? Did you think that the husband was scummy for cheating on her in the first place, which I totally agree he was? Do you think that people can change and do you think that the husband is sincere? Please let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, I'm wishing everyone a wonderful holiday season. Until next time, if you did enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you'd like to hear more stories from Reddit with updates.